All right, Tommy Coward here from Growing Green. We're back on the lawn with you and on the lake. And I'm here with Kevin O'Shea. Hey, Growing Green, and we're getting ready to attack a real serious problem on this 5.5 acre pond. It's duckweed. And what happens when you get duckweed is it, if you could see the corner of the pond over there, and we'll be taking some other videos. This duckweed is a floating weed and it's like a pellet and it uh, has a few roots to it and it'll come in and normally it's a when it comes into a pond it's an indication that there's a nutrient overload here there's a lot of nutrients running in from these lawns and other areas up headwaters of this pond and there's a big nutrient overload. There's probably a lot of muck in this pond. There's a lot of organic matter in this pond. There's a lot of nutrients. And that's how this duckweed survives. It can live on that. So today, we're doing aquatic treatment with a herbicide. Uh, we're also going after some of the algae. So we're using Qtrine Plus. We're using a product called Clipper. And we're using Diquat. Diquat is uh, this product here. Um, Tribune. Um, it's an aquatic herbicide, much like the type of herbicide you use on your home lawn to kill broadleaf weeds. So that's what we're doing. We're going to try to avoid any damage to the environment here. We're using everything at label rate. So we'll get started. We'll show you what we're doing. Basically, we've got a small little electric motor, very environmentally sound, a little 15 gallon sprayer, and we've got our product mixed up. And uh, we're going to get on out here on the water and do some spraying. All right, we'll see you in a minute. All right, Captain O'Shea. Hey, everybody. You're the man. So we're cruising around. You know, aquatic weed control can be a lot of fun. Because you get out of here on this beautiful pond. Basically, we're going to be going after a contact application of this awful duckweed. Some water meal here as well. And there's some algae, and there's some pondweed. So there's about four different things. That's why we have a mixture of about four different products in our mix to tackle this. But as you can see down here in some of these coves, it gets really thick. And uh, we're going to be going after this, so let's start spraying a little bit. As you can see, just our handheld sprayer. And there goes some... Ducks, I don't think they like us. Right, and you can see what we have down here. Basically, I'm just gonna spray. Cover. There's a surfactant in this product, in our mix, that will help in this water. Now, with aquatic weed control, a lot of people are really concerned about fish kills. And I don't blame them. No one wants to kill any wildlife. No one wants to damage any fish. This lake is not a concern to us. Typically what happens when you lose... So we've got Captain O'Shea, and he's just tugging us right along here. And this is the duckweed that we're going after. See how thick it is down in here? Each one of these is a little pellet, some people call it. Little pads, little weeds. And we are just treating this with a broadleaf herbicide. There's also a uh, algicide in here, going after filamentous algae. And uh, there's another aquatic herbicide in here that's very good on pond weeds. Let's see, if we're scraping the bottom, but basically we're down here in the thick of it. This is a serious mat of the duckweed, as you can see. Cross this way. So there's a surfactant in this mixture too. It's surreal almost, the way this material just forms this dense mat. This looks like we're in a, another part of the world. the 
herbicide out here on the lake, as you can see. All right, folks, as you can see here, this water meal is caught, just forming a dense, dense mat on the surface of the pond. We're just doing a nice application. It's an aquatic floating weed. As you can see that. It's kind of surreal up in here. a different planet here. Nice little subsurface application here for the remainder of the product. Leaving a little stream right behind us. And that will come in contact with a lot of weeds in the lower in the bottom of the pond. Growing on this on the bottom of the pond. That's a nice little run. All right. All right, so folks, what we're really going after here are three different problems on this pond. Number one, you've got the water meal, that green floating aquatic plant. We've got some filamentous algae that's growing around. And we've got some pond weed, mainly along the shoreline. This pond is about... Oh, well, on average depth, this probably depth would be four feet deep. It's uh, nine feet at the deepest. But we're basically just going around. We've done a nice application to all the floating pond weed uh, and base that on surface area of area affected that we treated. That's how we're figuring our rate. We're not dosing the lake in parts per billion of the chemical. We're really attacking these weeds uh, on a surface area basis here. Of course we do have the cutrine in this mix and that's going that's for the uh, that's copper sulfate that's going after the filamentous algae and the diquat in the mix and the clipper are the products that are going to control the pond weed that's actually submerged it's underwater and the floating aquatic weed this water meal which is probably the most it's scattered about and it's probably the worst problem with this pond okay Tommy Cowett and Captain O'Shea signing out. We're going to head back up to the dam there where the rig is rolling. And y'all have a great day.